It's just to sort of be better luck to show. Next yeah. time, yeah. Right. <laughs> if you like gardening, you will love this. Actually, mm. we're heading off to the National Flower Show at Highlands Park in Chelmsford, and Ash is there. Is it gardening weather though? It looks a little bit dull. Oh, Becky, you love the garden. You know every day is gardening weather. It doesn't matter what's <laughs> happening, but it is just so gorgeous here. We've had loads of time to walk around. There's a plant village. Anything you can think about putting into your garden, you can get here. And actually, earlier in the day, we bumped into celebrity gardener Carol Klein. Now, here's what she had to say about the National Flower Show. Well, the floral marquee is brilliant, packed with really splendid exhibits, but everywhere you look, there's plants, plants and plants. And of course, we're just pre-Chelsea Flower Show, so everything's looking superb. So I'm actually here with Matthew Upson. Now, he organises this whole event. That's what his company does. So the show opened today, but did, yes. how many days have you actually been here? Well, we came here on Monday. Um, to start setting up to get ready to open at 10 o'clock this morning. So it's taken us four days. So what type of challenges have you faced? Obviously the weather was quite different at the start of the week. It was absolutely beautiful. I mean we have lots of large vehicles to get on site and obviously we do have to respect the uh, house itself and the grounds which are stunning. So that's the biggest, the logistics of it, getting all the vehicles in, all the electrics in, um, and everything to make a you know a successful weekend. But it, it's it's totally worth it though. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Now, what is your favourite thing here? You've had the privilege of seeing all of it. What's your favourite thing? Well, I must say I did see some nice spa tubs. Uh, so we got but we got beautiful flowers, everything from decking, sculptures, um, and that's I think the beauty of this show. It has got everything for you guys. That's sort of almost like a one-stop shop. Brilliant. Well, do bring along all of the family here. There is just so much to see and do from everyone, from children to adults. And there's also a few tricky details in the forecast to get through. Here's your weather. Greater Anglia, sponsor of ITV Anglia Weather. Well, the rain hasn't deterred the crowds from coming to the National Flower Show, but this is the way it's going to be for the next couple of hours. Plenty of cloud around and it's always giving some patchy light rain and drizzle. But as we head through the night, it will eventually turn dry. The winds will... If you like gardening, you will love this. We're heading off to the National Flower Show at Highlands Park in Chelmsford, where we can see Ash next to the most wonderful display of flowers. Ash, but you're inside. Is that important, I wonder, for the weather? Absolutely. Well, not for the weather, no. Of course, anyone can get out and about in the weather, but I am inside. However, I will tell you about that in a minute. Now, I was out and about earlier today having a look around the flower show and I bumped into celebrity gardener Carol Klein and here's what she had to say. Well, the floral marquee is brilliant, packed with really splendid exhibits, but everywhere you look, there's plants, plants and plants. And of course, we're just pre-Chelsea flower show, so everything's looking superb. Hi, so I'm actually standing with Mig Kimpton. Now, Mig Kimpton is the creator of this design that's here beside me. He's also the creator of the house and a three-time medal or HS award winner as well. Can you tell us a little bit about what we can see inside the house and where the inspiration came from? So the name of it is Around the World. Can you tell it us is. a little bit about it? It is. That's our theme this year. Each year I get to decorate this house, which is a wonderful, wonderful venue. And uh, we decided to celebrate flowers from around the world. So with my design, I get to choose my own country. And South Africa always comes out tops for me because of the beautiful plant material, the wonderful proteas, the various foliages, gerbras come from... Um, South Africa, as do some orchids and the Xantadisha, but the, uh, certainly the proteas are absolutely gorgeous and really lovely to work with. Now you have the pleasure of actually being here for the whole weekend, you're also giving some flower arranging lessons as well. What advice do you have for people coming here over the weekend? Well, there's lots to do here. Not only can you join me for an odd session with a bit of flower arranging and a few tips, but also the amount of things that are to buy, retail therapy in absolute abundance with plants in every corner, even those that you didn't really want, you will be taking home. Well, regardless of the weather this weekend, which I'm about to tell you, here's the details of the forecast. Greater Anglia, sponsor of ITV Anglia Weather. 
Well, the rain hasn't deterred the crowds from coming to the National Flower Show, but this is the way it's going to be for the next couple of hours. Plenty of cloud around and it's always giving some patchy light rain and drizzle. But as we head through the night, it will eventually turn dry. The winds will fall light as well. And all that cloud will help keep those overnight temperatures up. Temperatures only falling to around nine or 10 degrees Celsius. Now, we start off on Saturday